In today's video, I'm going to give you a really good tip on how to get more power out of your solar panel into your portable power station. There are many portable power stations that do not charge well using a 12 volt solar panel. This one here is a 12 volt, 100 watt solar panel. And when connected to either a Max Oak or a Jackery unit, I'm only getting 62 to maybe 64 watts of input charging power. So I'm going to show you what you can do to get much more power out of this panel and charge up your portable power station much faster. To demonstrate, I'm going to be using the popular Jackery Explorer 500 along with a 100 watt solar panel. The problem also occurs with Max Oak and many other portable power stations. The first thing I want to do is check the intensity of the sunlight. So right now we are at 79,800 lux. Let me plug in the Jackery. And right over here you can see input power 60 watts. So we're not getting anywhere near the 100 watt rating for the panel. And if you plug this into your accessory socket in your vehicle, it would be even lower. It would be around 35 to 40 watts. Now to make the portable power station charge much faster using your solar panel or in your vehicle, you're going to take either of the cables. This one here is an Anderson cable. I'm going to measure about one foot back from the end of this connector and cut the cable. If you want to use this, measure one foot back from here and then cut this cable. Once the cable's been cut, you're going to strip away about three quarters of an inch or 20 millimeters of the sheathing on the cable. And then you're going to strip off about 3 8 to 10 millimeters of insulation on each one of the conductors. You should see a red and black wire. Some of these may be different. So let me show you what you can do to ensure that you have the correct wires going to the connector on the cable. This cable here is very simple. You can see there's a red and a black wire and it corresponds to the red and black over here. But if the colors are different, you can have a white and a black and you're unsure of where they go on the connector. Just take a digital multimeter and you're going to put it on a continuity setting. Make sure it's on a continuity alarm setting. So when you touch the two probes together, you'll hear the alarm sound. So identification is now easy. You touch it to inside the connector, touch it to one, and you can see the alarm is not sounding. Touch it to this one. And you now know that the red is the positive going to the end. Let me show you on the other end that goes into the portable power station. The inside of this connector, there's a wall inside. You're going to take the probe and it's going to touch the inside wall, and that's the positive, and the outside wall right here, that's your negative. So it's very easy now to identify where they go. Touch it to the positive and to here. Nothing. And if I go inside the connector to the wall and I touch it here, you can see that went off, it sounded. Go to the black wire and touch the outside and you can see that has a good connection. Once you have identified the correct polarity, you're going to need one of these. A DC to DC boost or step up converter. This one here is a little larger. You do not have to use one this big. The reason why I use this, because I happen to have a couple of them laying around and they're only around eight to 10 bucks. This is a high efficiency converter. Now I'm going to place a link in the video description area for the one you see here and another one that you can use. The reason why I like the step up converter, it has a replaceable fuse. Some of them have the fuse that's a blade type, it's soldered directly to the board. So if the fuse blows, you're kind of screwed because you're going to have to desolder the fuse. This one here, you can pop out the glass fuse and install another one. This converter also has a very wide voltage range as well as a high current capacity. You're going to take the cable that's going to the solar panel, so this one here with the Anderson connector, and you're going to connect it to the converter using the two screws. Make sure positive is in the correct location and negative. If you plan on using this in your vehicle, take the end with the male plug that has the wire on it, and you're going to connect it to the positive and negative. Over here is output negative and output positive. So you're going to take this end of the cable that goes to the portable power station and make sure the correct wire is in position on the positive and negative screws. Now there's one important thing that you're going to need to do before you actually connect this to your portable power station. Make sure the solar panel is properly positioned in full sun or your ignition switch is on in your vehicle. And then you're going to measure the output voltage. 
red probe positive, black probe negative, and you want to set the output voltage just a little bit lower than the maximum charging voltage for your portable power station. Now the jackeries go up to around 30 volts, so you want to keep it around 29 volts on the output. Max Oak power stations go up to around 40 volts, and other power stations will vary. So you want to take a look at yours and set it just a little bit lower. In order to adjust the voltage, it's very simple. Right over here it says voltage adjust, and this one says I adjust, which is current adjust. So as you're measuring the voltage, you're going to slowly rotate this potentiometer using a small slot screwdriver, and you're going to see if it goes higher or lower. If it starts going lower as you turn it in one direction, then you're going to stop and turn it in the opposite direction. Set the voltage to the desired level. Once that's finished, you can connect this to your portable power station, and you're going to look at the input wattage reading on your power station. If it's very low, you're going to adjust the wattage using this one right here. Slowly rotate in one direction, and if you see the input wattage on your portable power station start to get lower, then you know you're going in the wrong direction. You're going to stop, turn the potentiometer in the opposite direction. You want to make sure you get the maximum allowable input current using this DC converter. And that is it. It's extremely simple. Let me take this outside and give you a demonstration now showing the difference by having this in place. The boost converter is now connected up to the solar panel over here at this end. So let me plug it in to the panel on this end. You can see the red LED come on. Now let's take a look at the input wattage on the Jackery. And look at that difference. It's 50% higher. We were at 60 watts earlier at 80,000 lux. And now at 80,200 lux, we're at 90 watts. This portable power station is now going to charge faster than using the AC adapter. The same will apply to many different types of portable power stations. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, share, and check out my extensive video playlist for many other videos of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching.